Hey, what is going on guys? EKJotter458 here and today we are back in GTA 5 for the longly awaited Audi R8. It is one of the best cars in the game. You start off with either the R8 or the, the I think it's a TV, I don't know if it's a TV, no it's an Aston Martin, what am I talking about? Um, yeah, you either start off with the Aston Martin or the R8. Me personally, being an Audi fan, went with the R8. It's so nice and you can do it up like an Audi R8 GT, so that is my plan for this episode, um, to do one up like the GT. Now, the normal Audi R8 is gorgeous, no matter what anyone says, it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, and as you, as you can probably tell, I'll have a lot to talk about uh, with this car, because it is brilliant, one of my favourite ever cars. Uh, let's see... Um, yeah, so it has got a 5.2, no, 4.0, if I cry out loud. Here's where you said I've got a lot to talk about. I think it's a 5.2 litre V10 engine in the V10 one. Um, but this kind of looks like the R, it kind of looks like the V8 version. So it's a 4.2 litre V8 from the RS4, uh, the old RS4. So, yeah. Uh, oops, excuse me. <laughs> uh, drinking too much, too much energy just. <laughs> Uh, yeah, um, yeah, it's one of my favourite cars, as I've said, and the thing is, with, with Forza Motorsport 5, this is the thing that kind of annoyed me, um, they are only bringing in the 2010 R8, now, the, the R8, the 2013 R8, has only changed its lights, really, I think it's, it's front and uh, rear headlights, just a tiny bit, but, um, it looks a lot better now, I think. Now, I'm really sorry, guys. I'm really sorry, but personally, I'm going to go for blue this time because the R8 suits the blue unbelievably well. Um, let's see, I'll do it in bright blue. That kind of suits it, but I kind of like it in dark. No, 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 no. Bright, bright blue is a bit better. Um, yeah, I really, really love it. It's awesome, the car. Let's see, secondary colour. What the hell? Oh, okay. I didn't know you could do that. All right, we'll make that white. Frost white, yeah. Skirts. Yeah. They, they, oh yes, this is that looks exactly like the GT spoiler. Given it's a bit bigger, but it looks good. I'm actually really happy that I'm doing this car right now because it is just. I would probably say, apart from the F-Type and the Corvette, it's my favourite car, because it handles amazingly, it is so, so cool. But let's see, we're going to go for high end. Now, a lot, of, a lot of people in the comments haven't really been agreeing with my rim choice for some reason, don't know why, I personally like the rims uh, that are fit to the cars, that looks pretty damn nice. Uh, <laughs> no. I didn't want to do the ones that were back that I, oh wait a minute, wait a minute, um, I'm trying to think the ones that look like the GT, that kind of looks like it, so do they, but I've used these ones quite a lot so I want to try and change it about a bit, uh, where's the ones, I like the, I, I really like them ones but I've done that in the previous episode, so I think we're going to just go back and get, um, it's a really right. I'm just going to choose these ones. I'm just going to choose these ones. The carbon, carbon ones. It looks nice. Wheel color. Oh my god! Yes, yes, please. That actually looks kind of nice. Blue with red. Let's see, or blue with white, or mm, I don't know. Cross white to go with the white bit up there, or the red. Yeah, go with the white. <laughs> the Scottish colours, blue and white, that's where I'm from, so... <laughs> Doing it proud. Uh, so yeah guys, that has been the build, the build of the R8. 
and we're going to go and find a brilliant, brilliant driving load for this one. I'm not going to be driving it around the city, so I will see you there, guys. So guys, we are back with the RA and we are actually up near Michael's house um, to go for a drive, but we're not going to be in like all the city streets, as I said. So uh, just behind Michael's house is uh, Michael's houses. Michael's house is all these twisty little roads. Um, it's actually they're pretty good driving roads. Uh, it, don't get me wrong, it's a bit crowded and a bit cramped, but um, it is pretty good if there's no traffic on them. Uh, as as you can see, oh my god, as you can see in the better daylight, rather than in the garage, the car suits the blue so well, it looks so nice. In my personal opinion, this is my favourite car in the game that I have customised to date, because of the colour, I don't know why, but you know why, I love blue and I love the R8, it is one of my favourite ever supercars, so yeah. I feel as if we've been this way quite a lot. Um, now, if I go that way, the bikers will end up coming after me. But if I go that way, I don't know where it takes us. Let's tell you what, let's go this way for a change. So let's go right. I'm not too sure if I've been down this road before, but... Yeah, I think I have. I'm not too sure. Uh, if this takes us up to where I think it's going... Yep, I'm going to turn back round. We've been up that road too many times. Now this thing, it has four wheel drive in the game and oh my god it, advantage, uh, it uses it so well to its advantages because I've actually done a session online, I, actually, I didn't actually record it but uh, me and a few friends were taking supercars off road um, I might make that into a video, I'm not too sure um, I probably will um, like taking supercars, I was in this Audi um, and it conquered it, honestly, oh, absolutely conquered it because it is four wheel drive. Someone was in a GTR, and another one of my friends was in the Cheetah, I think it was. I think it was the Cheetah. Oh, this is, I love this road. This is, this is probably the, the one road, as you see in my videos quite a lot, um, that I drive the most because it is. It's one. That, it's the best. Well, some of the best driving roads are around, as I've always said, Devon Weston's house, and I think we're just getting there right now. Yeah, we are, because the military base is over there. Um, don't exactly want to go in that direction because I was shot down by a plane. Uh, let's see, kind of straight out a bit. There's a twister road back up here, I think. I'll let you hear the car for a minute. Let's see. Three, two, one, and power! Oh, such a good noise. Such, such a good noise. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's amazing. Oh my god, look at that. I need to stop here for a second. That is beautiful. You know what? I might actually take a photo. Oh my god. R8. GT next to a waterfall. Uh, yeah, as you can see, we are Trevor right now, so... Let's see, what, what would be the best angle for... Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Ah, ho, ho, ho. What a photo. Alright, with... I'll try to make it as artistic as it can. That'll do for now. Looks nice. I'll probably come back to this spot later. Tell you what, I might do one more just at the side. I'll get back in the car in a minute, guys. One more just at the side of it. I just want to see the water next to it. Oh my god. Yeah, actually. No, no, no. We'll just leave it. Let's get back in the car. Car pal with the lights. Yeah. So far, so good. There's not been any biker gangs going on this yet. It's quite funny. Um, yeah, this bit I actually just discovered online the other night. Uh, there's a little jet ski bit down there. It's pretty cool. 
but the perfect, perfect song for this road, unfortunately I can't play it because it's copyright, uh, would be Copperhead Road by Steve Arrow. Now, if you've not heard that song, I'll leave the link in the description for it because it is one of the best driving songs you could ever hear. It is amazing. If you guys remember the Top, the top Gear episode where uh, the guys went to America in the SLS, the Ferrari 458 and the Porsche 911 GT3, uh, Jeremy, uh, GT3 RS actually, that's what it is, um, Jeremy was in a garage to replace a tyre for his SLS, as you would considering the SLS is a tyre shredder. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, and he was blasting out Copperhead Road. It was so, so funny. So yeah, guys, I'm just going to round it off here with this lovely, lovely view of Los Santos and some park benches. <laughs> oh, God, I destroyed a rock. Um, so yeah, if you've enjoyed it, please leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Leave a card down below that you want to see in the next episode. And I will see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.